Alright, so today we're going to be doing a bird shot um, versus a cut shell, which we'll just shoot the bird shot and then we'll take the same exact kind of shell and turn it into a cut shell and we're shooting from probably about probably 15, 20 yards yeah. away. Uh, He's going to take the first shot with just a standard bird shot. Then I'll show you how we make the cut shells, and I'll take the cut shell shot. And the shotgun we're using is just the old clunker that I found cleaning out an old shed. Had to piece the front grip together, and for something like this, it works. On the target is about 15 feet right there. Sorry if it gets loud, we don't know really how to muffle the sound on the videos yet. Ready? Hold on a second, let me get get you and the target. All right. Ready? Three, two, one. All right, now I'll go and see if the bird shot went through the target. Well, about death now. As you can see, the wad peppered it yeah let's see the back side the wad come through but none of the pellets because on this side has pellets everywhere on this side just the wad come through so now what we're going to do is set our ply board back up plus couple two by fours and hopefully I'll be able to hit one of these two by fours with the cut shell now we'll go back down to where we shoot from and I'll show you how I make the cut shells all right there is the shotgun we left in the Floor. Sorry about my fingers being in the shop for a second. There's two different ways you can do this. The one I found I seem to like better is you take and put a mark on this side and then somewhere around the other side. It really don't matter if it's too accurate. Then you want to take you a sharp knife come in and go around your shell without knocking your finger yeah without cutting your finger And I just went from line to line. Then I'll do this side. From line to line. And see that cuts your shell. But it still holds it in a way that if you want to run it through a pump, it would probably go through i haven't cycled any through an actual pump but it looks like this one would be the closest to it because the other way you start down towards the bottom because you want to cut below the wad in it so it blows the wad out with all the shot and then you just cut around the entire shell Once again, without cutting your finger off. Yeah, without cutting your finger off. But see, this way, you just get it as close just leave just a fraction of the shell. And then what it does, when you shoot it, this little piece here breaks off. This whole piece comes off because it's easier to break that piece 
than it is to blow the end out of the shell. But I like the other way better because it's not as floppy and you don't have to take a chance of cutting all the way around the shell. Now let me get the first one I cut. Eject the empty. Wow. That's not a cut one. I'll just use the one here on the ground. As you can see, it's the cut shell. It's cut all the way around. Going into the barrel. Can you see the target? Mm-hmm. All right, I'm gonna be aiming more for the one on the left. But I don't know how I'll be able to do. Because basically it just turned the shot shell into a slug. Here we go. Well, I think you might hit it. And now it's random bird shot. Yeah. And now it smells like shotgun powder. Well, I think that cut shell might have exploded. I think so. Let's go back and try the other one. Let's turn that over. And see if I can get the other one, see if it'll come out. Oh my god. What? Was that like that? Yeah, it was already like that. Oh my god. <laughs> That's what it looks like after it's been shot. <laughs> Not much left to it compared to a standard shotgun shell. All right, let's see if this one will hold together and actually hit as an entire piece. There we go. I think that one works. Yeah. Especially since it knocked my ear off. Oh my god. The end's still stuck in that puzzle. And it went through half of the board. So, if it comes out right, hit the 2x4. Splintered through the 2x4. Hit and blew out the back side of the plyboard. Compared to down here where just a wad hit and not a small hole in it, there's the uh, shell is actually protruding through the plyboard after going through the 2x4. So you can see how much more powerful a cut shell is than a standard bird shot. I wish I would have hit it more in the center to see if it blew all the way through one, but I mean that's five eighths of an inch ply board plus a two by four that it's went through to make that hole right there. So see right there's the wad still in it plus the shell wow so if they work right you end up with the shell plus all the shots that's in this plus the wad hitting whatever you hit with it so look at the size of the hole from the standard bird shot and where the wad hit compared to where the cut shell hit after going through a two by four. This one can't get my finger through. You can see through it. This one you can stick your finger through, no problem. Probably stick about three of them in there. After, and that's after it went through a two by four. So, they kick harder cause it's compressing the shell down around the shot. So it's got more force coming out so it kicks harder, but the damage that it does and the impact it has is well worth it. And it also, you take 
five dollars for standard target rounds get 25 target rounds turn 10 of them into slugs and knock the crap out of anything you shoot at so i hope you like this video watch for more coming up uh comment if you like to see us do different shooting type videos um like subscribe comment in the bottom if you like us if you think we're doing a good job what we can do better thanks for watching god bless